In this video, we are going to discuss about scan-based design technique. So, uh, as we uh, discussed in the previous videos, observability and controllability technique can be improved by introducing a more accessible no logic nodes and use of additional MUX. But this input and output pins will make my IC fabrication costly. So, we go for this method. So, it uses a scan register with both shift and parallel load capabilities. It is a structured approach in order to design a sequential circuit for testability. Here, the storage cell in the register are used as observation and controlling my input points input and output points okay so with the help of this uh, technique uh, uh, the testing of this uh, circuit get reduced to combination circuit during scan mode scan flip flops that is di becomes uh, the, the data input becomes a uh, pseudo primary output that is ppo that is fully observable and scan flip flop d o that is data output becomes a pseudo primary input ppi that is fully controllable here the scan based design uses a storage element which are connected to form a long serial shift registers so that is it is called as scan path or scan chain so since uh, uh, we know that the sequence circuit is consists of the combination circuits and storage element. So, this is how uh, the actual sequence circuit will look like. But uh, you, have, you can see there is additionally you have uh, 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 n number of marks compared to the uh, flip flops and uh, uh, the scan uh, the scan path is inserted when uh, whenever the uh, test mode is selected or the scan mode is selected the one will get activated so scan in si uh, si pin will be uh, go to the output uh, of the mux and it was it will be uh, stored in the uh, output of the dmux okay so you can see uh, the one flip flop output is connected to the another flip flop input max input okay so that by it is forming a chain and from the last uh, flip flop output i'm going to take the scan out so uh, in the test mode the scan in signal is clocked into the scan path uh, and the output of the last uh, uh, stage latch is scanned out okay so in the normal mode uh, scan path get stable and the circuit will act as a sequence secures let us uh, now discuss about the procedure okay so first uh, uh, let us consider this is my circuit okay so this is my circuit what i'm going to do is uh, first i'm going to uh, what is the first step uh, set the mode to the test mode and set the latches accept the scanning scanning input so first uh, i'm going to give um, uh, the test pin as one okay so the test pin as one and the scanning uh, pin as one you can give whatever the uh, input either one or zero so if i give one um, uh, since uh, one gets selected this is my max okay this is max so i will get one as my uh, output so i am going to give the clock so okay uh, so now the clock is uh, clock is activated okay this is uh, during the test mode okay so first clock is activated so this one will uh, reach here so this one will reach here so here also I'm I have selected uh, the test mode only so this one uh, so during the first uh, clock uh, one is stored here we don't know the value of uh, uh, this one right
Okay. So next, uh, during the second clock. So this is, uh, this is about the first clock cycle. And I am going to give the second clock. Okay. Uh, I am going to give the second clock. Uh, and uh, I am going to give the input as uh, 0. Okay. Now I am going to give the input as 0. So, uh, this value becomes uh, Now this value becomes uh, no, no. So this value becomes uh, 0 and this becomes 1 So we have uh, completed the first step and the second step uh, uh, we have uh, verified the scan path by shifting the input and output uh, test data and uh, the scan in uh, the desired state vector into the shift vector. Okay, now I am going to apply this uh, uh, test pattern to the primary input pin. Okay, so what I am going to do is uh, Now I am going to apply this test pattern 0 and 1 to the uh, 0 and 1 to the uh, my combination circuit. Okay. So uh, since uh, uh, this point is stuck at uh, 0, I need to get uh, 1 as my uh, 1 as the good result. And 0 is my faulty result since it is a stuck at um, 0. Okay. So if I want to get 1 here, uh, 1 here. Uh, the two input must be 1, 1. So, this becomes 1. Okay. So, since this is also 1, I will get the output as 1. So, this is my primary output and this is my primary input. Okay. And uh, uh, here you can see uh, uh, since I need to propagate the output, uh, the stuck at fault to the output, uh, so, I need to get to 1 of 0 here. So, if I want to get 1 of 0, this must be 0 here. So, if this is 0, here also I am having 0. Okay, that is correct. Uh, this is 1. So, you can see, I have a 1, 0 at the uh, at this pin and uh, 1 at this uh, 1 value has been stored in this pin. Okay. So now I am going to select uh, uh, the test pin as equal to normal and test pin as is equal to uh, 0. Okay. So I have uh, completed the fourth, fourth step and uh, I apply the test pin to the primary input and set the uh, mode to the normal and observe the primary output uh, of the circuit after the sufficient time of the propagation. Okay, so now uh, I am going to assert the circuit clock for one machine cycle uh, to capture the output output of the combination circuit into the register. So if I give uh, one zero at the input of the uh, my register, sorry, max uh, during the next clock pulse, that is, uh, I am going to set uh, this is a normal mode. Okay, so normal mode. Uh, during the first clock, if the first clock get activated, I am going to get uh, 1 of 0, right? 1 of 0 at the output of the register and here I am going to get uh, 1 as my output, right? Okay. So, in the normal mode, I am going to give only 1 clock. Okay. So, next uh, so here uh, what I have done uh, uh, the during the uh, normal cycle uh, I, I have captured the output of the uh, combination logic into the register okay so you can see here uh, um, uh, the scanning uh, uh, the di input of the uh, data input for the flip flop is becomes the primary 
சூடோ ப்ரைமரி அவுட்புட் ஆஃப் த காம்பினேஷன் சர்க்யூட்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ தீஸ் டூ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் தீஸ் டூ வேல்யூஸ் ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் சூடோ ப்ரைமரி அவுட்புட் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் ஆஸ் சூடோ ப்ரைமரி அவுட்புட் அண்ட் வாட் ஆவர் த இன்புட் தட் ஐ எம் கிவிங் ஸோ தீஸ் டூ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே திஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் சூடோ ப்ரைமரி இன்புட் சூடோ ப்ரைமரி இன்புட் ஃபார் த காம்பினேஷன் செக்யூர் ஸோ வாட் ஐ ஹவ் டன் இஸ் ஐ ஹவ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி எலிமினேட்டட் திஸ் ஃபிஃப் ஃப்ளாப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ ஹவ் கான்சன்ட்ரேட்டட் ஒன்லி ஆன் த காம்பினேஷன் செக்யூர்ஸ் ஸோ தேட் பை ஐ ஹவ் எலி ஹவ் யூஸ்ட் ஒன்லி த காம்பினேஷன் செக்யூர்ஸ் இன்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் கேரிங் அபவுட் த செயின் ஆஃப் த ஃபிஃப் ஃப்ளாப்ஸ் So, I converted the sequence executes into a commons execute. Next, uh, step 7 is return to the test mode and scan out the uh, content of the register at the same, te- at the, uh, at the same time scan in the next pattern. Okay. So, now I am going to give uh, different values okay, for the scanning. Okay. Now, I am going to Uh, go to the test mode again so test mode okay so i am going to give sis equal to 1 okay so if this is a uh, test mode so this is in the test mode again if i give the clock value is equal to uh, 1 and uh, sa value is equal to 1 uh, so the one will get uh, stored in the output of the uh, two fifth flops right and uh, now from that uh, i can observe that uh, one of zero is uh, observe the output okay so next uh, um, Uh, there are different types of storage cell we can use uh, that is scan registers so uh, uh, one is based on uh, edge to get register next it can be uh, a master slave flip flops or it can be a level ticket latch which is controlled by the complementary clock sees so normally we uh, we are using a single clock which will cross causes a uh, skewed in order to avoid this problem we use a Uh, two separate clock one for the normal and another one for the test mode so the advantages of this uh, method is uh, since um, uh, there are many uh, automatic tools are available and it is a systematic uh, dft uh, which will make my automatic test pattern generation very easy so therefore it has a very good uh, fault coverage and it is uh, uh, it has a faster run time the disadvantage is uh, uh, since it uses uh, latches uh, input output pins flip flops internet wires which will increase as uh, my chip area that is my area get overloaded and the time required to test uh, is more compared to the boundary scan test and uh, since the uh, area is more uh, the power uh, overhead problem will be there and the pin overhead problem also that so that by the complexity get increased